we've got another house backing up. I just pulled up. So I'm gonna show you what to do in the situation that your septic tank does back up and what steps you need to take immediately. So I've already taken a look at it, but I'm about to show you what we're getting ourselves into. Time to go fishing. So this customer was backing up. You can see it's overflowing right here. This is the clean out cap. In a situation that you start noticing, it's backing up in the toilet, the showers, sinks. Find this clean out cap and take this off. Now be careful because it might be under pressure and everything might just bubble up. So be careful on that. But you'd rather have it come out in the house than be stuck inside. So look for that. It should be around your house somewhere, not too far. Sometimes they bury it, hopefully not. It should be visible. And then you look for the tank. So I can already see right here, there's some indentions where they've dug it up in the past. Right here, probably the outlet side. And right here is what we really need to get to. This is the inlet. I have a feeling the clog is gonna be right here on the inlet. 99% of the time, that's where the clog is. So I'm gonna dig that up and see what we got. Thankfully, this is really soft soil compared to that last one I was at. But the customer did say they wanna go ahead and put risers, so I'm gonna take the measurements and then give them a quote. That way they don't ever have to dig it up and if there's ever a situation where they're backed up again, you just pop open the cap to the riser and get unclogged yourself until you can get a hold of a septic person to come pump you out starting to see the outline of the lid right here we're almost there just gonna clean up a bit I can already see something oozing out you'll know for sure you hit that lid you start getting a whiff of that sewer sewer smell or see the dirt get kind of black like that kind of muddy it means it's been seeping out a little bit pop this open see what's causing the problems here oh this is gonna be good Yeah, it looks like it's clogged up right there. And it also looks like it's not draining. Similar to the last one, how the water was way above that inlet pipe. This is probably a drain field on the verge of failing. So I'm gonna pump it down, dig up this other end and see what we got.
starting to go down now. I think the inlet's already cleared. Yeah, it's going down now. So I'm gonna have the customer flush it a couple times just to make sure everything's clearing out of the line. Flush went through. That means there's nothing else clogged up in the line. So the problem's from the outlet to the drain field. And plus it's pretty thick, so. We'll give a few options to the customer how they want to proceed and we'll show them everything we found and then finish pumping out this thing. I'm gonna let that keep going. I'm gonna dig up this other side. Thank goodness for soft dirt. So I think I finally found the lid. I gotta see which, if it's coming this way or going up that way. Oh yeah, it's this way. Okay. I was close the whole time. It's just, I couldn't see those, the outlines. If water's coming up from this, my guess is there's possibly roots or something like that blocking the leach field but we'll find out for sure right now after I finish digging this and here is our lid might actually need the oh no there it goes Takes a special touch to get these with no hand oil. Almost there. There we go. that is Ugh. sanitize my gloves yeah, that's pretty thick I'm gonna start pumping out this side and then Go get my water hose to rinse everything down. It's really thick toilet paper right there. The best thing for any septic tank is whatever paper wipes you're using, just throw it in the trash. If you are gonna flush it, at least use septic safe. Not baby wipes though. I mean, the toilet paper, the septic toilet paper is the only really thing I've seen that does break down. But I mean, a lot of anything isn't a good thing. So just keep that in mind as well. Just gonna give this a final rinse down. You can see the difference. You can actually see the bottom of the tank now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'll let the customer know what I found and cover it back up. Take those measurements and put risers on. That way there's no more digging ever again. So once again, here's the clean out. This pipe runs directly into the septic tank right here. That's called the inlet baffle. And then here's the outlet baffle. The outlet baffle goes out and into the leach field. I'm guessing it's down here somewhere because 
this is just a conventional gravity system so shit runs downhill as they say so that's the only direction it could go had quite the workout today so far I'll get back with my dad and see if he's got anything else scheduled for today but we're about over half so I'm gonna have to dump <laughs> 